That's like shadows. Those. Like all that should be I thought the shadows could have cosmos too. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, yeah, well, he really does really have a cosmos. Yeah. 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 Or you have single. Probably not. I don't think that I do. Oh, okay. Shadows. <laughs> 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 okay, I thought the cosmos was the base set too. When you've got all the test you've got the base shadows. I thought they messed up the Watch your head, Radar. Base set to the starter is just regular chat. I'm watching people pop the lights. You could get one like a yeah, like, six right that had a cosmos as well. Within like, it was like a, because you had the, the, the eight, eight count starter. Like and then you also had like a brown box pop. where you could have a six count starter yeah, that, that was, they were like square. And that was technically like your basic. Are you guys opening stuff? He's about to show me all his sheets and tell me what they were. It's weird, they had, is that reprint? Yep. They at least. Three different you could have asked the OG boxes somewhere. Too. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, guys. Rusty's gonna show me his uncut sheet collection in the attic. All right, let's just start right here. So, if you can just tell me what each one is, and we, we'll just kind of go down the line. Okay. So this one's a full first edition uncut sheet. Yeah. It actually has, or yeah, it has all 16 of the hollows on it. You got the champ up here, your starter deck. And then it has all the other hollows below. Four zards, one, two, three, four. Point them out again. <laughs> one, two, three. That's a lot of videos. This is the thin stamp. Oh my gosh. All right, there's a lot. So let's just move on, even though this alone is worth an entire video. This one right here I got off of the... This is actually the one that I got off the VP. That one, I think I told someone earlier. Is this your pride and joy, this front one right here? I like this, but it's definitely one of the top things in my collection, but I mean... For sure. All right, we'll now explain what this is. This is just uh, this is the Entei number 34, the first uh, reverse holo Pokemon. Can we slide it to the left and the light? Yeah. But it's just the black. I don't know how much light this can give you. Yeah, I can see it at an angle, and you, you could pick up the holo by your hand. All right. We got the lightning in the background. Oh, we know this one. This one is super pretty. Now this is all probably probably my pride and joy, I guess, for the like the uncut sheets. It's uh, it's definitely not the most expensive one that I have, but it's the one that I worked the hardest to get. I think I paid this one off in about six months. <laughs> it was either twelve hundred or. 2500 I want to say it was 250 five or six months. But I got this off the print production yeah. manager. It's got a white back to it. Is it a white back? Oh my gosh. All right. All right. This is probably my, this is probably my most unique sheet. It's got a test foil front. So if you look at the foil, it's pretty glossy. This is a foil that they never went with. Oh my, yeah, you can really tell on the Dark Dark Trio. <laughs> And then, oh wait, oh the Magneton. Oh my gosh. So it's double sided. This is the foil that they, that they did transition to. Can you, oh my gosh, can you flip it back around? Yeah, that test foil. Now these right here, you may have seen a few cards cut out before this like a section of these four. This double sided, that's because the, uh, the employees had these as Christmas ornaments at a Christmas party. When that. that is insane. I love just seeing that clean magneton hollow. <laughs> Something you never see. Wow. Good money then, again. Okay, okay. These displays were done by Phantom Display. Phantom Display. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Now, this is the first edition of pre-release Aerodactyl. What's cool about these things, uh, there's dates at the bottom. I, I believe this one's dated for August of 99. Pre-release, all pre-release. So, like, you can almost take the, the sheets that you find for all these different promos and different sets and starter deck releases, and you can line up Pokemon exactly, even without knowing the release. I bought my first top jungle. Oh my gosh. Right, so this, is, <laughs> this is first edition jungle. Yes, it is. And I don't know if I'll be able to get it out. But anyways, behind it, I've got a limited jungle. So I'm going to flip so it around. So you just have it slid behind it? Yes. Is but it? What's cool about the jungle... <laughs> The acrylic's still pretty light, all things considered. Or? Yeah. This right here actually has upside down backsides. Oh, so if I were to look at the sheet, 
You can tell, okay. Oh, I don't know. We're gonna have to take it downstairs, but yeah. And I didn't know it for a while. I forgot I even had the sheet, yeah. which is not the best thing to do. It's a nice surprise if you find something like that. All right, this is the PCD sheet. This is the one that a lot of people believe the pre-lease rights you come off of. I still don't believe that, but a lot of people do. I think mainly because Mike Boozer, the one who had the pre-lease rights you. Can you give the backstory to the pre-lease rights you or what makes it so special? Just one of those cards that was printed by Watsy as, a, as like a test and it just wasn't released. Yeah. I got a different story than uh, what Mike Boozer, Boozer had, but he's the one who had the previous right shoe that I believe is the one that I currently own now. And that's like the most iconic right shoe essentially ever. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, so this is the disco sheet. Whoa, wait, these are all disco prints? These are all disco print, guys. Look at that disco. Oh my, I actually know about this. The disco hall, I believe that was coined by CGC or I, I'm not that hasn't been around since before the group yeah stuff. they had to give it something on the label I mean it's not a bad term for it yeah. confetti Disco. somebody uh may have been may have been Sean somebody sent me a picture on IG with a, some kind of Japanese print magazine that actually had a card with this print foil in it which okay. is kind of like further evidence that it should be legit. Yeah. This is the one that I want off of Golden. So it's got the shadowless hollows, then it has the starter hollows, and then it has first edition hollows at the very bottom. The two Charizards. And this one's lighter looking because it doesn't have the UV coating. Okay. Anytime you see that, usually it just means that it doesn't have the UV coating. All right. Right here, we just have a regular base set hollow sheet. Now this unlimited. One, yeah, this one's unlimited too. But this one's kind of cool too because it's uh, a. <laughs> there you go. So the next side, it's upside down. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's an an air sheet uncut sheet. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then the last one back here is. So this is your second air cut on air sheet, essentially. Or third, I guess. For like upside down bags, yeah. but there's you'll find errors all the time. And then this is a full Japanese uncut sheet. So generally you find them in sections like this, but this is all four sections for the This full. is how Japanese looks or how they do the it? The ones I've seen, yeah. A, a team, I know Team Rocket is just like this too. That is very cool. Can I see the back? I like the hollow on it. Very nice. All right. Let's go downstairs. <laughs> Unless you want to see any over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We let's keep going. Here, I'm gonna let you lead the way. No, they only did four. They said they have a new one. They said they like it's called like I always call them. I bet they have the way they're set up. So they're done. You put your blister. If you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! Hey, can I get some light? I got you, man. I guess I wanted to see this one. That's the LOB. This is glossy first edition. So this is what Yu-Gi-Oh fans would be going crazy over right now. Okay, I know that one. I, I know what the, I know all these. I actually know these. Heck yeah, even I know these. That's like the Charizard. Yeah, I was gonna oh, blue eyes. I actually know this. Card. That's Radiant Collection. Radiant Cle I love that. that. that Radiant Collection. This is a white only jungle, like a white border. Wait, white border jungle? Yeah. Why? A lot of sheets are just tested without borders or without certain colors. I would love to know how these make it into the public domain and then you end up with them. PCD. <laughs> oh, yeah, this yeah. is this is first edition shadowed. This is the Australian print of first edition that never released. Okay. <laughs> so, like, there aren't many out there, but there are some first edition shadowed cards in English. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, all right. It's just regular fossil. This is no texture, junk, red jugugus, and mutual. You guys understand how many sheets are just here in the back corner of an attic? <laughs> this is a W stamped Pikachu. It's like a whole sheet of that. I think there's two of them. You see the one on the back? Yep. 
Uh, fossil theme deck, maybe. Some tops. There's some test print tops. Though. Test print tops, pardon me. I think this is just energy. This is 19 2000 I got these off of Gary. Gary keeps bragging about how much many of these sheets that you got off of him. Yeah. I probably, I think I bought five off of them. That sounds about right. There's the unlimited or non-hollow fossil. We've got Neo Discovery. There's the rares, but it's not hollow. Chinese Machamp, maybe. A good old, oh, wait, what? It's just oh, like, Chinese. I was going to say starter deck, but it no. Might not even, it might not even be Chinese. I'm not sure what language it is. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Doesn't look like Korean or Japanese. Now these are unreleased um, playmats. You got an Ancient Mew playmat in there. Oh, let me see it. Let me see it. Ancient Mew. There's a Gem Heroes playmat. A Gem Heroes playmat. Whoa. I want to see the Ancient Mew one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll just take them downstairs. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, why don't we go to that other behind the door area? Ow! Freaking head! Where'd you want to go? Downstairs to those those sheets. It's like a playmat for Jim. It only does. We're going down. Pardon me. I was gonna hand it. You good? Oh, those were supposed to be playmats? He does this all the time. It's no big deal. His confidence is really important. What was that? Say hi, Dan. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're all in a giant, the world's biggest top loader. <laughs> so this is one of the play mats. And these were some of the lockups for the ancient new play mat. Oh, okay. See how saturated the Charmander is right there? <laughs> Sunburnt. Sunburnt Charmander. They made it a little bit smaller right here. Regular Charmander. Here they were testing out some of the different sizes. Sunburnt Charmander, regular. Oh, here's that magic one. Oh, somebody's been looking for this. All right, let me see the rest of these. All right, so this is a counterfeit sheet. Just a bunch this, of little stickers. Let me zoom in. You're gonna I need to zoom in just so they can even see, see what it is. I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah. There goes the framing. There you go. Yu-Gi-Oh! Secret Rares LOB. It's unlimited. Okay. It's another fossil. Hasbro Light. This one I love. This one's Nothing cool. too special, but it just looks just something different. Yeah, it just looks, you know, for the 3D. It just vibes 1999. <laughs> Nintendo 64. Stormfront. This was the Stormfront. It's got okay. the shinies on it. Amazing. 1999-2000 base set. So it completes out the common uncommon and rare that's upstairs all right oh, one anything more. else one more. <laughs> one more this is the one with the air dragonite on it. the air dragonite the wait no this is this is an uncommon team rocket sheet with no uv coating when you say air you are talking about no hollow air yeah this is this is how we so guys dark dragonite no hollow air the most expensive dragonite card ever here's it in uncut sheet form Incredible. All right, Rusty, is that all you got? Sure. Anything, anything more special to show us? You're good. No, that's it. All right, I'd, I'd say that was good enough. Thank you very much, Rusty. That was beyond ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's most impressive uncut sheet collection. There you go. I won't go too fast. We're good. Let's do it.
Yep, yep. We're good, we're good. Yep. Alright. So where we go, bud?